their top this is not I was gonna say top five but this is ten I don't like the sticker but it won't come off oh it's totally gonna leave a mark oh I regret my decisions I'm so upset now. That was really dumb. <laughs> mm. Now there's a stupid circle. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday. This week's topic is the top five books that booktube made you read. So, without further ado, let us get started. I actually have only read one of these books, but booktube made me buy these books. So, I'm counting it. It's okay that I'm cheating a little bit, but whatever. First book is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I saw this on somebody's channel and ever since then I've wanted to read it. Everyone's been like raving about this book since Scarlet and Crest came out and they're all excited about Winter I think it's called but so I thought I had to pick up the first book but I still haven't read it and I've had it for a couple months but besides the point I'll get around to it eventually. Maybe. The second book I have is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I have also not read this book, but booktube made me buy it because everyone was raving about it. And also because I saw the movie first, so I was like, obviously I have to read the book now because that's that's what I do. I don't read the book first and I watch the movie first, which is really dumb. Sometimes I actually do watch the book first and then watch the movie, which is always better. So that's my advice to you people. Read the book, then watch the movie. So much better. Next book is The Daughter of Smoke and Bones by Lainey Taylor. Every single book person ever on the interwebs has talked about this book, and they've said that it's amazing, so obviously I had to pick it up. It was actually one of the first books that I bought after joining booktube, so fun fact of the night. The next two books are actually from a trilogy, and that is Burn for Burn and... Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. Siobhan. I think that's how you say it. See? Learning. Learning. Yes! 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 Every single booktuber has talked about this. I know I've said that about every single book in this pile. But it's true. They've all said that they love this book and that they really enjoyed this book. Except I have not read either. But booktube made me buy it. Last three books are a full trilogy, and that is The Summer Trilogy by Jenny Han, are The Summer I Turn Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. And I actually read all three of these books, and I absolutely loved them, but I saw them on somebody's channel, and I was like, I need these in my life to make it better. And you know what? It did make them better, because... They're so cute, and I absolutely love these books, and I highly, highly recommend them to anybody who loves contemporary because they are adorable. Yes! Alright guys, so that is my Top 5 Wednesday for this week, and I will see you in my next video. <gasps> Goodbye! Yeah. Sometimes, I do watch the movie for- or I, I do watch- Why? Why? The book is The Mortal Instruments, false, that is the series, that is not the book. <laughs> Burn and Ashes, this is not Ashes to Ashes, Jan. That's the third book that's not even out yet. It's fine. That is The Summer I Turn Pretty, We'll Always Have Summer. That's false, this is We'll Always Have Summer. I have far too much energy today. <laughs> I'm a, what could this, I'm a, I don't know, I'm some sort of animal. Leave a comment down below what animal you think I am, because I don't know.